Hello and welcome back. This is Rigor from Rigor's uh, Garage and Boat Basin. Uh, we're working on episode three of the uh, uh, Baja Jet Boat Project. We're rebuilding the uh, engine hatch, uh, com well, it's kind of an engine hatch and a combination sun deck. Uh, this, uh, somebody in the past has uh, rebuilt this uh, once before and uh, failed to uh, uh, coat the wood with uh, any kind of uh, preservative or resin, and it has uh, rotted out again. So I hope you enjoy episode three. Thank you for watching. Well, this is the sun deck off the uh, Baja Sunsport 190 also serves as the uh, cover over the engine. This has been rebuilt once before but we had a problem where the uh, hinges were. I believe it's not on this side. Here it is over here. The hinges were located right here and underneath they pulled out. The wood has totally disappeared. You can see by the shape here where the hinges had pulled out and there's nothing but a hole underneath. Here's the bottom view of the hatch. Uh, these are the, the latches for the hatch that hold it closed. Uh, these are the brackets for the uh, uh, gas springs. You can see here some of the repair, it seems to have gotten a little moldy. Right there is where one of the hinges are. You can see where it's pulled out. Even better is this one. You can see where the wood is totally rotten and also there's a big bump here. There was a brace that went across here that is uh, basically somebody held it in with quarter 20 bolts they used um, stainless steel fasteners however they used uh, standard steel um, T-nuts you can see where the holes are there was there's two braces right across here the the T-nuts what they used were uh, right here here's the here's the washer and the stainless steel bolt but here's the rusted t-nut made them very difficult to get out here's the latch assembly I've taken out you see this goes on the back and basically straddles the hole right here to hold the latch assembly in this comes up from the bottom and the latch goes into the side of the boat it's got an adjustable latch mechanism and you basically twist it like so and it it snaps down uh, closed or almost closed we'll see what happens okay there's my handy dandy staple remover I've got all of the the uh, hardware off of the uh, the deck and now I'm going to take the staple remover and remove some of the staples basically the way you use this is you find a staple like this one you slide it underneath and you press down and it comes right out it just pulls the, the staples uh, right out assuming they don't rust these staples are uh, not stainless steel. They were, they're just plain staples. But they do, uh, as you can see, they do pop right out with the, the staple remover. I don't know if there's a brand name on this. I don't see anything, but I did buy this online. Now to pull the, the staples and take the uh, covering off. Now I'm pulling some of these staples out. If you notice, I stick it underneath 
and kind of pry up and it's like one side doesn't come out but if you put your finger underneath here it grabs a hold of the staple and you can it works like a like a pliers uh, one side of the staple comes out the other doesn't so you just squeeze it and it helps get the uh, the staple out there we go yeah you'll kinda notice that there are three layers of staples there was one layer here which was the the inner cloth and then right around the edge this is a a kind of a trim piece and then on the inside right here which is the actual upholstery that goes over the wood now as you can see there's a, a fair amount of uh, rot starting in the wood uh, you can see right here close to the edges uh, that's that's pretty much rot and then as you move up there is some sort of I don't know schmutz or something here growing um, obviously the best I can hope to do with this piece of wood is to use it as a template to make the uh, the new piece uh, and then put the upholstery over it you can kind of see the extent of the damage uh, all of this along the the back edge that's at the very back of the boat is uh, totally rotted and deteriorating you can see this is the trim piece that I've uh, taken off and if you look at it here it's, uh, it's folded over material with a piece of cord uh, put in to, to give it some bulk and then they, they took and and stapled it as a as a trim piece around the edge you can see how it kinda sits here I'll probably put a new cord in this and and staple it back on now I've got the uh, rotted wood from the engine hatch separated from the cover um, also uh, off to the side is a a thick foam pad that I've set aside that I'm just going to reuse so I've got them apart and now I need to recreate the parts I've got a new piece of plywood uh, that I'm going to use as the um, basis of the new hatch and then I've got the old piece that I'm going to use that's the rotted one uh, that I'll use as a template to, to get the outline of uh, basically the corners and where the rotted areas are usually you can interpolate between the edges that remain uh, some of the, the the two support sticks that were glued onto the hatch otherwise to keep it from bending when somebody's sitting on it uh, some of those have rot on the ends uh, so what I used is I used a couple of Bondo products. Um, one was Wood Restore and the other was Wood Filler uh, to sit and redo the ends. One end um, had a lot of substantial rot. Basically I cut that back and uh, epoxied on a new piece of wood and then just cut it at a bevel. Uh, then I attached it to the, uh, the new plywood for the hatch and uh, gave it a good sand uh, uh, so I can move on to uh, uh, coating everything with resin. So I used um, uh, laminating resin, that's a polyester resin, to coat uh, all the sides of the hatch. Uh, then I took and laid uh, layers of uh, chop strand mat and some woven roving over the um, side of the hatch with the support uh, strips. Uh, I followed that uh, with between each coat with a, uh, some sanding. Uh, usually that just kind of smooths out the bumps. 
and then I covered the um, the bottom of the hatch with uh, multiple coats of black gel coat. With the uh, bottom side of the hatch done, I flipped it over uh, and then uh, picked up the um, foam uh, pad, uh, sprayed uh, both the um, hatch cover and the back of the foam pad with the 3M Adhesive 77 and then popped the pad onto the, uh, the new hatch cover. Uh, with this done, I basically uh, stretched the vinyl cover uh, back over the hatch, um, flipped it back up, uh, and started uh, uh, stapling the uh, cover uh, onto, the, onto the hatch or the, the vinyl cover. Uh, I put some new rope uh, in the uh, trim around the edge and then uh, stapled uh, everything onto the bottom of the, the hatch cover and then trim the plastic and we're ready to go back on the boat. With that complete I put the uh, hatch uh, back on the jet boat by connecting um, bolts in the hinges and reattaching uh, the hardware to the hatch along with the gas shocks uh, and that concludes basically the the rebuild of the hatch for the jet boat uh, over the engine um, if you enjoyed watching uh, this episode uh, please hit like um, on the screen I uh, do appreciate your feedback bye now